All right, this lesson is from Chapter 6.3, Part E in our textbook, and it's on simple interest. There are basically two types of interest, simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest is simple, hence the name, simple interest. So that's what we're going to be touching on today. Just thinking about interest, hopefully you understand that if you put money in the bank, the bank pays you interest because you're letting them keep your money. Now, if you borrow money from the bank, then you have to pay the bank back the money you borrowed plus interest. So sometimes the bank pays you interest and sometimes you pay the bank interest. Depends on who's loaning the money. When you put your money in the bank, you're loaning the bank your money. So let's get started. Here's just a simple definition of interest. The amount of money paid or earned for the use of money. So you're either letting someone else use your money or you're using someone else's money. And here's the equation we're going to be using today. This is an I, so the equation is I equals PRT. The I, of course, stands for interest. The P stands for principal, which that's the amount of money that's borrowed or invested. So the amount of money you borrow from the bank or the amount of money you put in the bank. That's the P value. The R is the annual interest rate. And it's important that you notice that I have written here that it is expressed as a decimal. So it's usually going to be given to you as a percent. So for instance, if they said that the rate was 3%, you have to change that to a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So what you would plug into this equation would be 0 0.03. That's what would be plugged in for R. Okay, so that, basically this lesson, you're just multiplying three numbers together. It's very simple, but you've got to make sure that if your rate is a percent, that you change it to a decimal. And then the last piece, the T, is the time. So how long you're borrowing the money for, or how long you're leaving your money in the bank. And that's got to be in years. All of the problems we're going to do, they're either going to tell you a certain number of years or a certain number of months. If they told you uh, three months, they said that you were keeping your money in the bank for three months, to change this into years, you would just take three divided by 12, because there's 12 months in a year. If you take three divided by 12 in a calculator, you'll get 0 0.25, and then that's what you would plug in for the T value. So again, PRT just means the principal value times the rate times the time. So you're just multiplying three numbers together, and that'll give you your interest. You have to make sure that the rate is a decimal and that the time is in years. So let's look at an example. Find the simple interest for $500 invested in a savings account at 3.25% for three years. So the first value we have is our $500, $500 invested in a savings account. So this is our p-value at 3.25%. That's our rate, but we've got to change this into a decimal, remember. Two places to the left, so that's 0 0.0325. Our time is in years already, so we're good to go. So now we just plug these three things in. Our interest equals the principal, which is $500, times the rate, which we changed it to a decimal up here, 0 0.0325, times the time, which is three years. The most common mistake with these problems is people plugging in 3.25% in here instead of plugging in the decimal. Okay, so just be aware of that and watch for that. So let's punch this in a calculator real quick. So we got 500 times 0 0.0325 times 3 and I get that the interest is $48.75. So that's how much the bank is paying you for having your money in the bank. Now this question asks you to find the simple interest. What if they asked you how much money is in your bank account after three years? 
remember you put in 500 you earn 48.75 in interest so in your bank account you have the 500 plus the 48.75 so that means we have five hundred and forty eight dollars and seventy five cents after three years all right next example find the simple interest to the nearest cent of four hundred dollars at three point six seven percent for two years so again here's my P here's my R which I'm gonna change to a decimal zero point zero three six seven and here's my time it's in years so I'm good to go so my interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time plug those in my principal is four hundred dollars my rate is zero point zero three six seven and my time is two years so I multiply these together four hundred times point zero three six seven times two and I get $29.36 that's how much interest I earned all right and now the last example we'll do one with months so we have one with eight months instead of years find the simple interest to the nearest cent of $770 that's my principal at 16 percent that's my rate move the decimal point two places to the left so it's 0 0.16 eight months for my time I need to use 8 divided by 12 now if you put 8 divided by 12 in your calculator you're gonna get 0 0.6 repeating so I'm gonna show you an easy way to deal with this so that you don't have to try and punch this in your calculator so again we're gonna do I equals PRT so my principal is seven hundred and seventy dollars my rate is zero point one six and here's the trick I'm gonna do I'm gonna plug in instead of trying to plug in zero point six 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 in here I'm going to plug in the 8 divided by 12. I can just divide the whole thing by 12 here. It'll give me the same answer. So I took this 8 divided by 12, and I plugged it in 8 on top, 12 on the bottom. You could try plugging in 0 0.66666. I just think that this is easier to do it this way. So if you have months, put your monthly value here. The number of months and then divide the whole thing by 12 because there's 12 months in the year so we're going to do 770 times 0.16 times 8 divided by 12 and I get $82 and 13 cents after I round it all right so that's the end of this lesson if you didn't catch anything back it up and watch it again Mr. Bywater is out.